Okay, talking about the New Mexico game, it was a uh, game that I anticipated to be hard fought, physical, uh, and it was all that. I mean, it was it was just what I expected going in. Uh, typically, our trips to Albuquerque are no different than that. Uh, you know, they, they play uh, very good defense. They're um, you know, well coached. Uh, it was senior night for them. You know, it was uh, their last home game. So, anyway, nothing nothing transpired uh, as far as the physicality of the game and the and the uh, the intensity of the game that we didn't anticipate. Uh, breaking the game down offensively, you know, we didn't do a bad job moving the ball. Came away with 388 yards. Uh, you know, what we did have is some untimely penalties, a uh, turnover in the red zone, and when you only have, we had, each team had 11 possessions uh, in that football game, and if you, you know, you get yourself in two or three first and 15s and uh, because of some illegal procedures or get a personal foul, uh, I mean, those things are, are drive killers. And so that was really uh, our issue on uh, Saturday night. Uh, it wasn't moving the ball. You know, like I said, we did a decent job moving the football, but we got to get some things cleaned up. Defensively, I thought we played well. Uh, particularly against the run game, we held New Mexico to half their usual total. Uh, held a very good back in Ferguson to uh, 30 or 40 yards. Uh, he was getting over 100 yards a game. So very pleased with the defensive effort. Special teams, uh, you know, Louis Sakota, as Liz mentioned, the Mountain West Conference Player of the Week for the fourth time this season. Drilled two field goals, pinned the opponent inside the 10-yard line three times, and probably the play of the game was the punt with a couple minutes left where Louis pinned him down on the one-yard line. And, and uh, you know, our defense, uh, having to go 99 yards on our defense in that amount of time with no timeouts, uh, the odds aren't good, although a field goal would have tied it. We realized that. But, but that was a good situation for us when Louis uh, executed that punt. And, of course, the coverage unit did a great job getting down there and, and downing it on the, about the one-yard line. So, um, you know, it was a positive uh, getting the victory. Uh, like I said, it's a tough place to play. I think we're now 13 and 12 and one in Albuquerque all time. Um, we got to turn our attention very rapidly uh, to TCU. It's a short turnaround, as was the uh, Oregon State game earlier in the year. Uh, you know, same model that uh, we followed for previous short turnarounds. We're following this week. Uh, today will be a, uh, a Tuesday, Wednesday type practice. Tomorrow will be a Wednesday, Thursday, and then course, uh, we get ready for the game uh, over at the uh, hotel and so forth on Wednesday evening. Um, you know, I, th I think that uh, TCU, really, you look at film, uh, there really is no weakness. They're hitting on all cylinders right now. They're playing exceptional football in all three phases. Uh, they're leading the, the uh, conference in uh, scoring offense. I think they're second in, in total offense, leading the uh, conference in total defense, second in the nation in total defense, leading the conference in total defense, leading the conference in kickoff returns. I think they're second in punt return. So there's a lot of good things they're doing. And, uh, you know, they're, they're a very confident football team right now, and they are playing very well. So we got our work cut out for us. we got to show up Thursday night. We'll, we'll, we will be ready to play, but that's not enough. we got to make plays. We played with great effort on Saturday night. That was really what saved our bacon Saturday night against New Mexico is we had great effort from start to finish because we did not play uh, poised or intelligently at all times, as were evidenced by some of the – the, uh, the mistakes that we made. But this week, the effort alone won't be enough. We've got to have effort, we've got to play smart, and we've got to play with poise. And so uh, our guys are looking forward to it. It's going to be a great crowd, standing room only, and uh, you know, national TV coverage, what more can you ask for? So we're excited about the opportunity. Yeah, we, we did come out of this game pretty good. You know, we, we did not lose anybody uh, in the Mexico game that we will not have on Thursday night. And so in that respect, it was a positive. But there was a lot of wear and tear. You know, defense, they ran the football at us a bunch. And uh, that's always much more physical than, than a throw game. But uh, I think uh, given the circumstances, we, we fared pretty well. And uh, you know, we're going to get some guys back. We didn't have Deshaun Richard or Kepa Geisen Saturday night. They will be back Thursday night. So health-wise, I think we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, they got the great defensive end, uh, converted running back. Uh, you know, they, they moved in the defensive end. And he's having a tremendous year. Um, you know, double-digit sacks. I think he's intercepted a ball and, you know, several tackles for loss. I mean, he is a he is a game changer. Uh, we certainly have to account for him. We've got to devise a plan to, to try to handle him. Uh, but just in general, they have great team speed across the board on defense. Uh, it's an SEC defense speed-wise. I mean, they have as good a speed on that defense as you'll find in the SEC. And so it's it's pretty impressive. There's a lot of similarities. I mean, they're, they uh, – they have the speed on defense, like I mentioned. We feel we have pretty good team speed. Um, offensively, you know, they they're mix some spread in. They they kind of like us as far as different personnel groups. You'll see spread uh, for a series or two, and then they'll you know go to a too tight look. And so I think there's there's schematic uh, similarities, but um, you know I guess uh, you know the bottom line is we're we're both having pretty good seasons, and 
and uh, you know we each uh, are trying to stay in that title hunt. And uh, this is obviously like any other conference game, very important in that aspect. Well, field position will be huge. You know, special teams in a game like this typically, uh, you know, when you have two strong defenses, although both offenses are are doing a pretty good job, they're they're you know both offenses are in the top third of the league uh, in just about every category, and so. Uh, but I think, in my opinion, uh, special teams will play a big role in this game, as will the turnover margin. We've been flirting with, with disaster in that turnover margin. We have not uh, done a great job this year in, in the turnover margin. We were minus two against New Mexico and, and it found a way to win. And so I believe that this game, uh, we can't, can't follow that same MO. If we follow that same MO in the turnover margin, it's going to be a long night. So we've got to take care of the football. We've got to create takeaways for our offense in order, just what you said, we don't expect uh, nobody's been able to go 80 yards on those guys consistently. We got to sit, get our offense set up in some short field situations through turnovers and, and through a strong special teams game to help them out. Everything's on the line every week of the season. I mean, you know, it's it's a situation where when you're in a conference race, every conference game counts as one. I mean, it's just all the same, and so you got to you got to approach it with the with the same work ethic, the same mentality, uh, the same level of focus and concentration. And uh, that's just the name of the game. I mean, this game is is big. The next week will be big. The next week will be big. It's every week is big in a conference race. Yeah, we've got a lot of production out of Paul and Koa. Um, you know, that's uh, you know having a set of bookends like that that can apply pressure is a, is a big advantage for a defense, a big, big advantage for a defensive coordinator. And I think Gary has used those guys very well this year. They're both athletic enough. Well, we can drop them in coverage. We do that on a you know a certain percentage of the time. But um, they're both having productive productive years. Uh, you know, Paul, I think he's six or seven sacks, and, and Cole was uh, right behind him. So, so having those guys on the edge uh, to generate that pass rush uh, makes you a lot more uh, likely to, in uh, third and long situations, maybe not to blitz as much because you've got that great pass rush just from the, the four man front. Yeah, they have no weakness. Their front is excellent. Their linebackers, uh, you know, Phillips and Washington, those guys at linebacker, they got three linebackers that rotate through there, are very physical, and the secondary is is uh, playing very well. So the, the strength of that defense is, number one, the speed, and number two, that every area, every aspect of the, uh, of the defensive core is strong. strong. Yeah, we, we take a look. We have the whole season. That's the conference rule as you exchange season uh, for season, you know, every game that, that each team has played. And we certainly uh, look at every, every snap of every game. And there's things that, uh, you know, you pick from each game. Uh, particularly, you know how people have defended them. Hey, these guys defended them with this coverage or this front, and it worked well. So let's, you know, let's take a look at using that. And so certainly, every single game plays into that uh, part of preparation. When you do your breakdowns for your percentages and so forth, typically you only choose three or four games to put in the computer to get the report back for tendencies, and and those are usually the three or four most recent games. But but as a coaching staff, you look at every single game and looking for anything that you can pick uh, from uh, any one of those games that uh, fits what you're doing. Uh, that maybe you haven't done yet that uh, you know it will blend into your scheme and and be a factor and uh, you know that that's commonplace for coaches to do that you you know you look at what's hurt what's hurt their offense and what has helped them uh, you know from a defensive structure and and go from there well uh, special teams are not as involved schematically as offense you know there's there's uh, there's simpler schemes not as much to learn and uh, you can plug guys in special teams much more quickly than you can in an offensive or defensive role, although his offensive role has been increasing. He played more snaps uh, Saturday than he has offensively, but uh, it's just just by nature, uh, you know, the simplicity of, of special teams lends itself to be able to, you know, get guys involved more rapidly than an than offensive or defensive uh, position.